Hello there everybody and welcome to my F1 2021 My Team Career Mode. If you haven't seen the last episode from Portimao, then please go back and check that one out before you check this one out. This is your last chance to do so before spoilers. Well, after a very disappointing DNF in Portimao and one that we can very much ill afford in our championship hunt, we are now at a very soggy Barcelona trying to get through the first parts of quali and giving it everything to do so but my goodness me this track is slippy it is wet and i am just about looking everywhere for grip but our first lap we seem to have completed that relatively decently what is the time we have gone just ahead of ricardo and just behind verstappen so that's not too bad a lap time and that like should be, be enough. Getting much lighter over the next 10 to 15 minutes. There should be more grip, but don't expect a dry track. Get us through to the next part, and just a word from Jeff in my ear, suggesting that the rain is going to lighten up. I was going for another lap, but Mazepin held me up a bit there. And as you can see, we managed to get through qualifying one quite nicely. Although I would have liked to get through a bit nicer than that. That was a little bit too tight for my liking. So into Q2 and you can see it's not quite as wet, it's still very damp, it's still very tricky but a hell of a lot less so than it was in Q1, meaning there's a lot more grip although I'm going a little bit off the circuit there to find it and I'm pushing very hard to get this lap nailed. I really want to get into Q3 and that should see me through. That is currently P6, and you can see there just how much I'm pushing as I cross the line. And that is enough to get me through in P3 in the end. So my second lap, I absolutely bossed that. And then in my final qualifying lap, I'm just, like I said, giving it everything and hoping I can get a competitive time on the board. So far, I'm running P5 from the first lap I did. So now we're doing a second to try and get ourselves into a decent qualifying position, but I've hit that curb, lost a little bit of momentum there, but I managed to still make some gains around that lap. What if, where is it going to be on the grid for me? At the Spanish Grand Prix, it is going to be P5. Just behind Yuki Sonoda up in four. As we head into the Grand Prix. Welcome along then to what promises to be another fascinating Spanish Grand Prix. A race which saw Max Verstappen win on his first ever appearance with the Red Bull team in 2016. This after the dramatic coming together of Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg on the first lap. Will we see more moments for the scrapbook here today? It's a sellout crowd of 140,000 here today as we await lights out for the 730 meter sprint down to turn one at this 2.9 mile racetrack. Overtaking is challenging through these 16 corners, but there's still a lot of high-speed excitement to be found, including the flat-out Turn 3 and the terrifying blind right of Turn 9. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Norris, Joker, Max Verstappen and Perez, Gasly, Button, Ricardo and Charles Leclerc, Sainz, Vettel, Esteban Ocon and Sonoda. They've taken a grid penalty. Stroll, Giovinazzi, George Russell, and Mick Schumacher, Latifi, Joe, Markalov, and Nikita Mazepin. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail. Well, we were going to be with Sonoda, but he has had a penalty, so it's up to P4 for us. We're alongside Lando Norris on the second row. 
Lights out and away we go and I've instantly got the jump on Norris there. Up into P3. The two Mercedes in perfect formation so there's no way I'm going to make it through one of those. Trying to hold the inside line. Lando's trying to break later around the outside. Trying to keep P3. He's got P3 back on me around the outside. I'm now down the inside of this long sweeping right hander. I understeer and make a little bit of contact with him. Forcing him out the way. But it is P3 for us right now. Just behind the two Mercedes with Hamilton leading and Bottas second. We're sat pretty in P3 and just trying to stay with the two Mercedes. That's going to be a task that's easier said than done though. Especially as we're going a little bit wide around there. And Lando Norris is getting very eager to have a look. And you can see Lewis Hamilton setting the fastest lap of the race. He has gone. The two Mercedes are starting to check out here. And so it's me defending third place with uh, with Lando Norris right behind me. And Max Verstappen wanting a go as well. So we've got to keep our wits about us here as we go a little bit deep. That's not going to really harm us at all though. Lando Norris still within that half a second. And getting ready to have a go as soon as the DRS becomes available. Which it now is. You can see us getting ready and just keeping an eye on him. But Lando not this time. Not close enough. To have a look just yet however it could get close in following laps look how hard i'm pushing to just try and build a little bit of a gap on norris a little bit too hard so i've gone deep there again that is not the correct racing line to take uh, by any stretch of the imagination right norris closing in again he's gonna have a look around this part of the circuit not an overtaking spot i hold the line around the outside take the racing line lando not able to get it done just there however We've got the DRS main straight coming up and that is where the McLaren will be strong with that Mercedes engine. He's now getting right into my slipstream, right into my slipstream. He's up my inside. Has he got the place done? Yes, he has. But we're going to try and cut back. No such joy. Lando Norris up into P3. But now we're going to try and get him back. And Lando doesn't seem to be going very quickly around these next corners. We're going around the outside of the sweeper there. Almost off the road. We're now going to head up to four, side by side with the McLaren. Surely we're going to have to back out of this one. No, it's still side by side. We're just going to have a dive down the inside here. Side by side throughout the entire first sector. And finally, we get our nose ahead. I thought I was going to have to back out of that. But I just kept my foot in it. And that is how I managed to get P3 back. What a battle with Lando Norris there. Side by side through one sector. Although Lando Norris now has got bigger issues because Max Verstappen is going down his inside. And Max Verstappen is taking P4 from him. And now he's got Pierre Gasly to be dealing with. And I've got Max Verstappen to be dealing with. I'm trying to cover the inside. And Max, well, he's just got me out, around the outside of me. I've made contact with him there. But Max Verstappen getting around the outside of me and getting that move done. There was very little to nothing I could have done. To hold the Red Bull back there. The momentum he had was ridiculous. And I am now down into P4. Trying to stay with Max Verstappen. Lando Norris has backed out a little bit actually. So I don't know. Has he done a little bit of damage? Or has he just got a problem with the car? Pierre Gasly taking P5 now. And Sergio Perez and Jensen Button. Looking to demote him further. Norris trying to hang on there. But Gasly has got him done. Perez also... Unseen by us gets him done. Meanwhile, the AI start to make their pit stops. But I'm on mediums and I'm staying out that bit longer. Because what I'm hoping to do is stay out long enough to put on the soft tyres. So I'm rather than running medium hard, I am trying to do a run of medium soft. So that I've got a lot more speed towards the end of the race. That might be a mistake, yes. But that is the strategy that I'm going for. And Lewis Hamilton, I believe, is catching up with me now. He is the race, the effective race leader because we haven't pitted yet. And so this could get a little bit... We could have a little bit of fun here with Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> Dear me. Right, it's lap 20. Coming up to end it now. Hamilton is right there with us. We've kept him behind. Confirmed. And we are boxing this lap. So we are coming in at the end of this lap. Hamilton is coming straight at me. I'm going to cover him off though. I'm going to have a bit of fun fighting him. And that has not 
works out for Lewis because we are able to keep the P1 position just for now. But Hamilton's ducking left and right everywhere trying to get past. I've got the inside line. Hamilton's still not able to get past. And this is just going to be winding Lewis up about as much as Checo Perez did in the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix IRL. By the way, I'm not getting into my thoughts on how the championship was decided on in that one. Anyway, we are now pitting in our rate, career mode race and we are having our front wing change for whatever reason. Go, I go didn't now. think there was anything wrong with the front wing, but the team we'll have noticed something. Today. And as one a result, we strategy. have lost the P4 to Sergio Perez. So I'm hoping at the very least we can get back that back. Pierre Gasly is in fifth. He is within reaching distance of us. I don't know if we'll be able to catch Perez back, but for sure, my first thought is to try and get Pierre Gasly back to fifth. I don't even know if he's going to pit again or not, so that remains to be seen. As we now get into Gasly's DRS, and in fact, I don't That's believe he is pitting again, so we've got race. to get this done on the track. But look at the speed we have. We've just set the fastest lap to boot as well. Down the inside of Gasly, that is a pretty straightforward overtaking maneuver for P5. And we now get in the hunt of Sergio Perez. We've actually caught him up quite well here, so I'm hoping that we can at least take P4 back. Looking at the gap to Verstappen, I think getting back after P3 is very much out of the question. But there's no reason that we can't jump Perez for P4 as we come round this last sector. But now we're on the main straight and we are using DRS to get right either. into Perez's slipstream. Overtake as well. Perez goes to cover the inside. But we're going to go and sweep around the outside, which is what we have done. A great move by us and up into P4. And that, for us right now, is probably as good as it's going to get. But that's a car going very slowly. I don't know who that is. I think that is a Haas. And I believe that is Mick Schumacher looking at the helmet. So that's disappointing for him. Lewis Hamilton wins the race then. But for us, it's going to be a second P4 of the season. And um, that really was the best I could do. That really was the best <sighs> I could do from this race. Over. Take care of the car on the way in. Also, I want to apologise for the lack of audio. I actually had my headset still switched on for whatever reason when I was doing this race. And there's a lot. Uh, there's audio from a phone call which I took. As well as me sighing exasperatedly and tired from doing this race. So unfortunately we don't have the standard audio here. But you can see there, Lewis Hamilton winning the race doing so rather dominantly like nobody was going to touch him in that race Valtteri Bottas caught second and Max Verstappen after a battle with us which didn't really last very long because he just got straight past gets third we take P4 which not the end of the world for us you know I feel like that was the most we could have done with what we had but we do have more upgrades coming soon for Baku, we got a new upgrade that we were unable to get in Portimao. We managed to get that one here. And while it has, we have had some improvement to overall pace, we just need that little bit more. But, you know, the fact that we are very much on the way forwards is only a positive thing. And we're going to keep moving forwards with future upgrades. I have a couple of big upgrades coming for Baku. So, hopefully... By then, we can really start turning this around. But for now, like I said, I'll accept P4. It's P7 for Jensen Button. So not the worst day in the world for Joe H2O Racing. But I'm still aiming for that little bit better. And I'm still pushing to be that little bit better. So there you can see the overall results. Perez then takes P5. Then it's Gasly, Button, Leclerc and Sainz getting some good points for Ferrari. And Sebastian Vettel rounding out the 10 for Aston Martin. And Yuki Tsunoda's penalty really costing him there. And we've now got back ahead of Jensen Button. But we are a worrying 47 points off of the championship lead at this point. And for a season that I was insistent on going into the season with the aim of winning the championship. It's not the best start. But like I said, we have... A haul of upgrades coming for Baku. The power upgrades that we need are coming for Baku. As well as 
a couple of other upgrades that we have bought. So I'm thinking that this could really be the start, the turning point of our season. Well, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Until the next time, I've been Joe. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Look after yourselves. TTFN, guys. Ta for now.